it's Jodian with DIY Joe and this week I'm doing a review on the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus line. Let's start from the beginning. I don't usually use a co-wash in my hair but for your benefit I used this co-wash. It is very good for people who want to do a wash in between washes. If you didn't just do a wash and go with a lot of gel, this is a perfect thing to use to freshen up your hair. It won't strip your hair and you'll have the moisture that you need. So the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo is something I personally use and I do love. And I would recommend it. Once a week, every other week, wash. Doesn't strip your hair too much. It it leaves it clean but it doesn't give that strip coarse feeling not for me at least and then follow up with a conditioner the coconut and hibiscus line does not have a deep conditioner so i grabbed the deep conditioner from the jamaican black castor oil line no as it comes to deep conditioner and treatment one of the best i've ever tried now that i've dyed my hair black I need the extra treatment. I can't wash my hair without treating it or it might strip or break and get brittle. So therefore, I use this. And if you notice, it says sulfate free and color safe. I had never tried this before until Gray Urban Distributing decided to give me the products to try and experiment with. I do not have low parts to hair. I have medium parts to hair but i do have scalp issues and the fact that it has spearmint i was like okay bulbob oil tea tree oil i was saying okay this will be good for my scalp this is my favorite thing in the entire line i the hold and shine moisture mix now look on it it's liquidy like water basically what could this really do? After washing my hair, deep conditioning, using the leave-in, I spread some on it before doing my twist out. Guys, guys, a 10 out of 5. That's how much I love this product. Then it was time for my favorite part, twist out. So, now you have the Curl enhancing smoothie and the curling gel souffle. Now, some people use one or the other. I think they work best together. First, you apply the curl, yes, the curl enhancing smoothie. So, you first you work this through your hair, then afterwards, you get the curling gel smoothie, this curling gel souffle. Now, as you see, it has body, it's gel-like, it moves, it shakes. And now, for you, I'm going to pull out the twist just so you can see what the twist out is like. I'm going to ask Yannick Henry from Grey Urban Distributing to come and help me pull out my hair. So I'm finished pulling out the twist with the help of Yannick. As you saw, I also had to further separate naturally where it, where it separates from the root just to give it a little volume, a little body and my trusty soul comb to shake up the roots. But this is the end product. I'm liking it, I'm loving it. I've always loved Shea Moisture. As you can see, there's a lot of shine, a lot of definition. The texture is smooth, it's not clammy, it's soft and silky and, silky. and, and hydrated and very hydrated which I need because my hair is dyed black and you know for everyone who has dyed their hair they know it makes their hair dry if your hair don't normally dry it dry now 
but it's very hydrated I didn't have to moisturize since I washed it on Sunday and today is Wednesday and it still has the moisture has the finish on perfect so Shea Moisture 10 out of 10 yes definitely that's it for DIY Joe this week. Bye.